Hello everybody, Chaotic Fear here, and today we are playing Obsidian Prince. This is a tactical turn-based roguelike game. Um, really cool, I love the art style of the game. Um, I played this a long time ago, it was a demo even before early access. However, this is the pre-release pre version of the 1.0 that is coming out on the 24th of May. So you can see the thing here is what's new since chapter two. I haven't even played chapter two. I played a part of, again, it was a demo version that I played. The game, I've been keeping up with the game very, very close. Just looking at all the updates that they've been releasing as early access went on. And I'm just really excited to jump into this. So we're gonna look into it. This is, so again, you'll, this is basically what you'll see um, with the quality of life changes they added again since chapter two, you got a new class that we haven't really looked at but they have their quality of life additions extensions modes can now unlock indicator improved item view stuff like that and apparently they have a motion sickness mode you can turn it off to probably everything that shakes and everything you got a roguelike mode new campaign everything like that so we're just going to jump into it and see what we have we are going to start a series on this game too. Welcome to my inn. You look like the type of person who'd love to go on an adventure but don't know how. Yes, I'll help you with an introduction by allowing you to help me with a tiny rat infested. I conveniently help in my basement have in my basement. His little end puns are in already too much. Great, I'll deal with those rats. Fantastic. Oh, and while you're down here, could you investigate what happened to the other adventurers I sent down there to inspect the issue? Here we go. Instantly. Inside the tutorial. The basics. Camera controls, or you can use the mouse. I'll probably end up using the mouse. Basic movement, click blue tiles to move. Basic attack, click enemies on blue tiles to attack, to base attack them. Red tiles show enemy intent. Gotcha. Abilities. Left click to activate an ability. Click again on a blue widget to use it this costs energy generate energy by base attacking cover abilities to find out more right click to deselect the ability and return to moving attack so obviously we have jump energy cost three click or press space to use make a large leap charge energy cost five the warrior runs through with the enemy and strikes Applies a stun and knocks anyone standing on the final tile to your previous position. Energy cost is three. Strike all surrounding enemies. Energy cost two. Strike and take a step back. Um, energy cost is four. Throw your truck at an opponent and catch it as it returns. I'm assuming, yeah, base attack, move attack. Where's our energy? You will generate three energy by waiting for each enemy within two range. Okay. Let's just attack. Move attack. When your cursor becomes an error, you can do a move attack. This often lets you attack with taking damage. Without taking damage. Try it now. Move attack. What did I just miss? I definitely took damage. But he's... we beat him. It's okay. Hmm... The swirling portal is where you start. Click on something to explore. You can't go back to a room you've already explored. Plan ahead. Click the backpack to go to the equipment view. Click 
click an item to equip it, click it again to unequip. Changing weapons can give you other weapon abilities. If you want to equip a weapon on the second weapon slot, unequip the current first slot. You can on the if you want to equip a weapon on the second weapon slot, unequip it for current. What? Oh yeah, that's gonna be our cards there. Let's exit out of that. So we got a bow. 11 physical. 7 physical. I didn't want to do that. Is that how that works? No, I definitely wanted that here. Can I? Nope. Why are you doing this to me? I wanted... There you go. And then put that. I might need that. I also might just use the sword. What's that damage? Seven. That's okay. We should be okay. Oh, explored. Right. They did say you can't go back. Inspiration cards. Inspiration cards up. Apply temporary changes and are actively pass um, activated passively. Heroes pick new inspiration cards when they level up. Add a trigger on um, base attack. The effect stun enemy. On base attack. On base attack. On base attack. On kill. Plus five damage on kill. Strike a nearby enemy. Ooh. Can I use it? These cards are applied passively. Oh, okay. So, hold on. Click on it again. By using the ability they belong to. You're able to apply a jump card, you use the jump skill. These cards, yeah. Okay, so this is just on attack and kill. So, what I have here is basically just on attack. Okay. You don't need armor anyway. That was mean. Um, on base attack, stun enemy. Hey man, leave me alone. I want to use my, where is it, round strike? There we go. We did it. Got some experience. We're going to get smoked at the end. I don't even think we have potions to start this. Um, hover on an enemy to see attack zones. Press tab to see all enemy attack zones. So yeah, it basically shows what this guy will do. Here's his, he doesn't look like he has any. Do I get potions? Minor healing potion, yeah, we got it right there, okay. I thought I had a bow. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty sure I had a bow. Oh, right here. Oh, wait. Oh, my energy. Wait, that's my energy. Shouldn't I have been able to attack? life do you have mister you have seven we should be fine there we go saved our health I don't know about room complete there I seen some gold they wanted me to move or something we did level though pick a character skill um, whittle them down piece by piece yeah I'm on base move attack poison your enemy ooh Okay. Agility. That's a crit chance. Armor when attack you have if you have armor when attacking immediately, return damage. Gain max energy. Gain ten max health. That's physical damage, of course. 
on damage taken gain one energy despair for every health miss Ooh, okay regenerate armor your base or move attack okay I don't think I'm really confused with what a move attack is. I'm, I'm assuming that's one of my skills. Because when I move, I can't attack. But we're going to go with health. We, we definitely need health. Okay, long jump. Plus one to jump range. On, on round strike use. Gain five armor for each enemy hit. That'd be really good. Apply knockback. That could be really good. I'm going to go with this. We need armor. Okay. I don't want to fight the boss because we have like no health, but we're going to do it. We have to, to be fair. Backstory cards. Backstory cards like inspiration cards sit in the deck. Each new room you draw five cards and pick three to keep. After big events, you gain, get a new card. They always replace an old card. I didn't know you could. Oh yeah, you can keep your cards. Um... There. Okay, so I definitely don't have room, right? I can't just hit him. I'm not gonna be able to reach from here, right? Yeah, I didn't think so. Just move. I don't know if you can help him. Go. No. Oh, you hit me. Alright, I can't actually talk to you. That's fine. What? What? Oh, you gotta load it up, don't you? Oh, man. Okay. Um. Jump. Okay, yeah, you have to... That That's really cool, honestly. Oh, crap. Um, let's do that, I guess. Then we're going to jump. Okay, there we go. We got the strike damage. Okay, we did okay. What is this? That's a magic minor gain one and okay Room complete Gain seven armor I like that at the bottom. I'm rich Well done adventurer. I'm quite happy that all the pesky rats are gone now all my cheese is safe and you saved those You saved those apprentice adventurers too. One of them volunteered to help out. We'll have to train them, though. I mean, they couldn't even kill rats in a basement. How about you set that up? I'm literally new to this, and you want me to set that up? Dan Kipper wants you to train your new recruit. Go ahead and press the Manage Training button. Okay, I remember this. Training. Click here to begin training. So, basically... Wait. What are they going to be? In case you forgot, click on the training button on the top right and put your recruit to training. That's cool and all, but it doesn't tell me what they do. It's gonna be a random thing. Um, armor within, armor without. It's convinced that muffins are a conspiracy. F feels happy ab <laughs> about, um... Larf days, yearning to get trees. I wonder if I click on this, what would be different? No. This. Oh, good. Sorry. I just want to know. Click to select training. 
didn't really do anything. I don't know. I guess it's just random. Done. <laughs> well done. We'll eventually need need you to build class training facilities as you as well. You'll want something more um, efficient at killing monsters than a barkeep, eh? You should go explore a bit. Maybe find some building materials. Talk to the guards. They might have been, uh, have interesting info for you. Find some wood to build a training facility. This would be the wood, wouldn't it? Find some stone to build. Okay, well. Where do you want me to go? Talk to him first. <laughs> Careful out there. Bandits have been known to lay in the ambush and road ahead. Um, I'm assuming that's just what we have to do. Yeah, you're just training. Yeah, so you would definitely want us to go out. Okay. Hey, you travel down the road from town, a gang of bandits jump out and ambush you. Not select entered with yeah well I can't um, select anyone right we got our weapon yeah I'm wondering about this sword since I haven't used it I don't know where you would put it rename your hero oh you can't okay cool there we go go Hopefully this is the way we're supposed to go to start looking for wood and stone. Not 100% sure. Oh, there's a lot of them. Nine, nine, ten. Oh, what the hell? Hey, chill, buddy. That's pretty nice, though. Trying, but oh my god, guys, what are you doing to me? But we did it. Let's go. That was a good experience. We even got a minor regeneration potion. Ooh, it's a little better. Oh, and that's how it clears up. Nice. Okay, that is perfect. Basically, what they're saying is um, your training has gained a good meal by training at the end. Okay. Gotcha. Um, okay, so that's one of these are the missions. The tiny bandit hut is surrounded by stone. Maybe you could try grab a few. Let's do it. At the foot of the grassy hills lie a small bandit hut. Stone has been stacked all around the area. Wonder. Yeah, we can do this. Oh yeah, right. We don't use that move, but. No, 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 no. What are you doing? There we go. That's what we wanted to click on. This is the adventure we're going with. Okay, let's do it. Dusty Peak of Unfaithful Something. Oh, hi. I don't think we need more of that. Oh, 
Why not? Oh, I realize I've been being attacked this entire time. Yeah, you got good range, buddy. I can't do that. Okay. Jump. Now you're screwed. Not enough energy. Oh, man. Wait, do I just not? Oh, I do I have to. I need to gain energy. Base attack is three. We have moving attack. Yeah, but I'm. I guess you just have to attack. Yeah, well. We got. And you thought cucumbers was lovable. What is this? It's looking at you with its big round eyes who, who'd eat something this cute. You would, that too. Heals for three on consume fills too. Nice. Nice, bow. And we leveled up. Let's go. We did do some health. What I would like to... On base or move attack poison or enemy. I would love to see what this does. That seems important, honestly. You stuff your pockets with stone and run off before the rest of the bandits show up. 21 gold? Or no, 21 times glot? Or is that supposed to be gold? 6 times stone? Dramatic for the barracks. Glot. That, yeah, that's what their gold, their gold is, I'm assuming. Ha <laughs> Nice, you are, you're coming along nicely, eh? I see that, okay. Now we gotta go over here. There are plenty of stolen wood lying around this camp. First off, we'll put that on because you do a lot more damage. Click to select a food item. I don't think we need to. Okay. Have any auto? would be nice I didn't get to pick one oh no we do okay not that I've really okay. do I not have enough but how do you just skip your turn then I don't know can you skip your turn? Oh, right here. Bam! So that's how you, okay. That makes sense. Yeah, you're gonna be here, but that's okay. We're gonna round strike you guys. Can I use this? Yes. I guess not. Ow. Can I use it now? Yeah, he's gone now. That's good. Nice. I love... So, the cool thing with this that I like is the graphics are really nice. This is a... You know, I play a lot of weird styled... Um, not weird styled art style that's different from what a lot of people are used to I love this style of art it almost reminds me of a way of Minecraft I don't play Minecraft I don't even care for it but it kind of reminds me of that with the blocked characters pixelated really nice and that's one thing I've always really liked about this game is the art style so it's really well done oh it's a little dungeon What are we going to keep? Oh, 
okay. Sure. I don't know. Oh, you summon the rats, eh? Perfect. Now we won't really take any damage. Oh, I love the experience bar. You know, like, you see how much experience you've earned down here, and it just kind of gets put into that. I, I like that. This screen is very nice. Oh, we got a chest room. Wonder if we have to fight it. Yep, we do. So you probably have to make your way to that chest. Um, on multiple enemies take damage if more than one enemy take damage this turn add 0.1 damage buff last until the end of the floor I'd rather We do use it we'll do that We gotta go to that chest I can't use this. Okay. Sorry, buddy. We don't want you right now. I want that chest. And I don't think I can get it if I kill you. I'm sorry. Your turn will have to wait. Hey, wait. Let me in. Let me in! Do I get the chest? Okay, so you still get the chest. I just had to get to it, I guess. I don't have a key. Did I get it? I don't know if I got it. Anyways, okay. Uh, when an enemy takes damage, it will gain the afflicted status effect. Deal do one damage per status effect on the enemy. Not ca Oh, nice. All damage stacks, yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, that, I mean, that'd be good too, because we know we're going to take damage. Every five base or move attack, you add five, ten, fifteen to your neck. I want to know what move attack, I know what base attack is. I don't fully know what move attack is. I'm gonna go with more health. Oh. And you lose health. That's that's good though. I don't think I've ever used that. Hooray! Like the new backstory. Um, yeah, we've done this. This stacks. Why not? I'll remove the backstory card or to balance the deck. Oh, you have to remove one card, right? Not just any card, it's just whatever card? I don't know what I did. Hopefully it only got rid of one. It said it had two of them. You defeated the bandits. You quickly scavenge all the planks you can carry. You can change the difficulty whenever you are on the campaign overworld inside the main menu, which you can find at the top right. Once you feel that you've mastered the mechanics of Obsidian Prince and you become more familiar with the game, we recommend that you play it on veteran difficulty. Endless mode is always is always played. Okay, endless mode. Nice.
Oh, we, okay, this is where we select a class. We don't have anyone here, right? Okay. I go for gain gold, eh? On five or more move on, f on five or more enemies. Do we get to select your class? Wait, what? I don't get to select your class. Pretty complete. I don't know what you mean. Anyways. Do we have a little... Yeah, we have that. But you can't select a class. And that's just obviously this. Where you can sell stuff. Anyway, I'll try to look for my... My missions. It doesn't look like I have that. But I know you have to build a facility, right? Soldier training is the way of the ranger. The unstoppable he doesn't have the rampage to land, so... Yeah, we'll do that. I believe we had to do that. I don't know where our little quest guide is. I wish we had a quest thing. Recruits learn fast, and after three days, they've already learned enough to pick, pick which class they will become. Good idea to look through the their backstories before you make the choice, as certain backstories may fit. The, yeah, that makes sense. It'll take them another three days. You can always recruit another. Okay. So we're just going to do that. That's our whole point with you. We can't do anything right here. Yeah. I don't think there's any point. I'm not going to be able to do anything. I, I could do that. That's probably what they want me to do. To be fair. A fallen tree has destroyed parts of the road of the town. Can you help? Of course. Let, let me pay those farmland over there to sort it. What? Sure thing. Let's throw rocks at the tree until it breaks. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's give gold, I guess. I thought I would have had to, you know, go help, but... So what are you over here? Nothing we can do. Can you sell stuff? I wonder, I wonder. What we're going to do is we are going to do this. You might as well. What are you? Press to select a character. Um, the cost to heal one... Oh. We don't need to do that anyway. So do I have a map to say what I'm doing, like a quest guide? I really don't see one. Hi, you look like someone with a talent for hero stuff. I lost my ten, <laughs> I've lost my ten dogs. They ran off with a group of boars and I missed them. <laughs> okay. Um, they seem to want to play with you or kill you. You suddenly don't feel so sure about this. Oh my God. I don't know if you can sell stuff. At least not yet, anyway. Let's go. We got the grips of this so far. Um, yeah, we're gonna definitely do that. We'll do that. We'll do that. You all have 16 health. Gonna wait then. How much does it kind of cost too, right? I guess I can't. Oh, I can do it to him though. Okay. That's on base attack, so that's just this. Okay, and we get on round strike. Ooh. Oh, we don't need armor anyway. Very nice.
Okay, nice. So did that quest finish? Thank you so much for finding my dogs. For a bit, I thought I'd have to write a book of remembrance about them. Take this potion as a small sign of gratitude. It tastes a bit like muffins and dreams. Your pocket. The swirling muffin smelling potion that'll probably come in handy someday. Very nice. What did you lose your dogs again? Those boys were a bit too eager to fight. They've been trained for violence. On one of my many walks, I come across a clearing where I saw a glimpse of a guy with a couple of pigs. Maybe he's involved somehow. I've had enough enough of boars for a while. Yeah, let's let's do it. Uh, oh, probably right here. My boars? Yeah, they have killer instinct. Want to see? Not really, but um, oh, dungeon info, medium. It'll be our first challenge, eh? Let's do it. Might as well see what happens. Yeah, yeah, we don't need that. Don't need that. We'll do that in there. And I really nothing else is needed. I'm just gonna wait. And then we'll do a little roundhouse. <laughs> oh, we got a key. Nice. We're, oh, we did level, I guess. We have armor. Yeah, we'll do that if we have armor. Gain three energy, push all enemies around you. That'd be good. In a three times three area around your target, arrows will continuously fall down before the player turns again. I haven't been using that, which I probably could, but this one sounds good. Knock, knock, who's there? Let us, let us who? Let us in. Okay. Man, oh man, I was not expecting that. Do that, do that, do that. Can't you, what? Why can't I use a bow? I'm so confused why I can't use my bow. from using a bow. Yeah, what what happened? Anyways, I mean, not the worst thing, I guess. I just really confused. Wait. You're a big guy, though. Oh, you're very big. Okay. Let's just try this. That was nice. Jump! Hey, buddy. I'm just thrown off at the moment of why I can't use my bow now.
Um, stun everyone you charge through. Gain five armor. Auto draw. We'll do the energy. That can be good sometimes. So why can't I use my bow? I have a bow. What are you doing to me? You know? Okay, so yeah, this one. Bash door. Oh nice, there's a chest room too. I think I gotta get to the chest still, right? can use it now. I'm so confused. Anyways. Wait. Ba bam Can you, do you... How do you use these cards? It's just a passive thing, right? Okay. That's the energy. We are going to add damage. Ooh. <coughs> okay, let's go here. We're just going to use the key instead of lock picking for now. Uh, get Gorg by attacking the treasure piles. But don't be too slow, one pile disappears. One pile disappears every other turn. Oh man. Okay. Oh man, wait, yeah, look at this. I kind of want to try that, so we'll do that at some point. So that's my inspiration cards, right? Like, this is what I get. Oh, that there's so many chests. I'm getting a lot of achievements, and I don't understand what happened. Oh god. Screw you guys. Jump. Oh, you would do that to me, man. Try to see what I get out of these, you know? Ow! There's another gold pile. Stop hitting me! I'll come back for you, don't worry. Okay, now. Get out of here. I just wanted to do stuff and you're attacking me. You're freaking rude, man. Level up. This one does uh, deal more damage. Yeah, I think the armor thing would be good. Do the extra jump. a pretty good dungeon I like this um, the crit is doing great when I have it Nice. 
Oh yeah, we're going for that treasure room. Oh. You guys look like Baby Yoda over there. Interesting. We're just gonna wait our turn. You have a lot of health, I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, we're gonna wait, I clicked on it, right? Okay, well, I mean that works. We are going to open that because I want to see what, if I get anything extra out of it. That's fleeting swept hilt. Okay. Okay. Interesting. That'd be nice. I guess I have to bash it open. It'll be a little harder now. Pretty sure you're the archer, so we don't want to deal with you. You gotta chill around me, okay? Oh, yeah, you wanna hit me. Bam! Keep making me bash open these doors to make it harder. Oh, there's so many enemies. We don't need the energy. We can use... Yeah. Spin the wind. So what do I have now? Yes, I can gain armor. doing okay yeah so we're definitely gonna do this for armor that didn't work oh god wait what happened We're so screwed, aren't we? I used my potions, but nothing happened. And I'm only hitting one person. Yeah, I'm dead. What happened? Adventure Bob level 9 covenants had more than their riches brought by. But I used a potion and it didn't count. It was supposed to give me more health. wonder what happened this is I died it's gotta start over right was nearly slain within they have been wounded given them the backstory and uh, fortunately they managed to save some of their loot yeah I don't think the loot matters I can't sell it you know we do get to keep a bit though so that is good
Moons are automatically selected when drawn from your backstory deck at the beginning of each room. At the hospital, you can pay to have wounds removed. You replace the wounds, you'll get a, a get a cool scar. If you haven't discovered a hospital yet, don't worry, you will soon. Yeah, you're doing it. Okay, so you don't really restart, you just lose stuff. I'm a little confused because I did heal. Yeah, I use this. Heal one. Oh, heal one for ten turns. Hmm. Never mind. I should have used that at the beginning. I thought it was just a heal ten. That's what happens when you don't read. When you take damage, lose two energy. I don't get rid of you instantly. And I don't need to do anything else, right? Yeah. Okay, so that is where we're gonna stop. I wonder, can we... So what I gotta figure out, cause I can, you know, click on this stuff, blah, blah, blah. I'm sure there has to be shops around. Well, you can just turn the lights on and off, that's cool. I'm assuming you just make stuff. For shops in that. Like I would I would assume at some point you can just make There's a restaurant like a store where you can sell stuff I'm assuming eventually that's what we'll get what is this There's a there's a board here where people can post bounties 15 G the bandit in the forest are always causing problems 20 slimes are coming out of my kitchen faucet. Somehow the rats just keep coming back. So yeah, you can do these and help. That's cool. We'll do those after. We got some more missions down here. And then this mission. I feel like we can do this mission, honestly. Um, we're just going to wait for our person. Maybe we'll be a little better. We did pretty good. I want to be able to... Yeah, it shows our cards here. You can change the name, which is fine. I like that. This doesn't tell us anything. This is our items. I don't know if you can sell. You just delete an item. I don't think you can sell them. I think this would be good. <clears throat> is that, like, if you can just get rid of these, you know? Anyways. This is the pre-release of the 1.0 game. You got a good look into this game, a good first uh, first look. It's a really nice game. I love the art style, the pixelated, the box style, uh, characters, the graphics. You got a lot to do in this chapter. Obviously, I'm only at the beginning. I am level 8 or something. Does it tell me my level? Where is my level? Level 9, and then, yeah, we have minor potions. I need to buy some mana potions. I don't know where those are. So I'm trying to... Fi I gotta figure out where to buy potions, because it'd be nice just to have a potion. These are, you can make potions. I don't know if that'll be heals or not, but... Nonetheless. It's coming along nicely. Graphics are really good. The art style is nice. Obviously, I've already said that. I like the music. It kind of keeps you into the game. Everything's pretty smooth. The gameplay mechanics and all of that is very smooth. I got confused at the end. I thought I was in a different position. And my round, you know, my round attack, I don't think was hitting everyone. But I just had to better place myself. I was bashing through doors, uh, making things a little more difficult. Because I didn't have any keys or anything like that. The only thing I need to figure out is how to find my quest tabs. I don't see, never seen a spot for a quest to look for what your quests currently are. I only have the one for training, and then I got this one that I did accept. But it doesn't show. It's just a highlighted thing on here. I'd like to have like a drop-down menu or something. And we got a few more things here, which is nice. Um, yeah, so one. Then we got the boards. Two. We have three things to be able to do. Really good game. I like the gameplay mechanics. I love that your cards and your 
inspiration ones kind of detour how your game's going to go in the beginning because i don't think those change it's just the cards in your hands change so if you get an attack off with those it works out really well and a lot of them do stack really cool game it's pretty difficult i don't think you can change the difficulty right i'm on normal difficulty and that's the only two difficulties you're going to get so that is perfect we don't want easy but we don't want veteran right now we gotta get used to everything but this is releasing March 24th. I'm pretty sure that is correct. It is releasing on March 24th. That's when the, uh, you know, 1.0 and Chapter 3 will come out. Because I think they're up to Chapter 2. And yeah, so they have a lot of different things you can do. Do I mean, if you really like what you've seen here and been following it, you can get it right now. It is early access. I don't know if the price is going to change when it hits 1.0. That I don't know. Um, but you can pick it up right now. It's an early access. You can join join what they're doing, all that stuff, and wait for it. Or you can just wait wishlist and wait for the 24th and buy it then on the 1.0 release really good game so far and you will see more of this i'm going to do a let's play series on to see how far we can get without um dying more and i'm sure we'll have lots of deaths but anyways until next time have a good one take care